Hello, um, it's Jo from Fun and Cosplay. Today I'm going to do a tutorial on how I styled and cut my Murdoch wig. This wig that I got here is from Hello Cosplay and I will put in the description the actual link to the wig I got. So we're first going to start off with how I cut it. So when I got it, the bangs were about, if you put it on your face, it was around the nose area. So what you're going to do is you're going to put it on your head and about where you want it to hit exactly for his bangs, because he's pretty blunt bangs, you want it to hit about an inch longer than where it's going to be. And then you're going to cut that. Okay. Let's see if I can get this one. Alright. So here's where it's cut. I actually cut it starting here. You can see the sideburn part was not there. I cut it from here all the way to about here and straight across. You're going to cut it and then you're going to go through after you cut it so it's not really blunt and you're going to take your scissors and you're going to point cut everything. So you're going to take like this. And point cutting is when you have the scissors horizontal. No, wait, I'm sorry. That's vertical. Vertical to the line of the hair where you just cut and you're going to go through and basically make it look choppy. It will give you a lot more of a natural appearance. Um, so after I did that, it was all cut. His sideburns, this is actually hair from a different wig or you can take it from the back of your wig, you can cut the lefts out and put it here. And I sewed this weft hair onto the side because I wanted to make it not blend because this is really distinct that he has a sideburn instead of just hair that comes down to points, at least in some of the phases. So I sewed that on and then I cut that. Oh, also in the back, I went through and I took a razor. Here is the kind of razor you can get this at any sort of beauty supply store. When there's plastic ones, they're also just a hand razor. Like that. And I went through and I basically just shredded the back of his hair to make it come to a thinner point. Oh my god, this is low. There you go. To make it come to a thinner point so it's like a it bumps out back here. So it's just like, you take it and you're like, oh, I don't want as much hair on the bottom. So you just take the razor and you just sideways shred. Just shred it up. So, that's how I cut my Murdoch wig. It, uh, it was a little tedious getting it the way I wanted it to be. Um, but it's, it's not hard. I think anyone could do it, as long as you know how to sew. And sewing as the meaning like slip stitch a pillow kind of sewing. <laughs> Alright. So that is how I cut it. Now we're going to discuss how to style it. What you're going to need to style it, you're going to need clips. I prefer to use duckbill clips. You can also get these at any sort of beauty supply store, wig shop. Um, clips, comb, that comb's almost the color of my skin, so it looks better that way. Okay, comb, uh, a teasing comb, you don't have to have that, you can use your comb for teasing, but a teasing comb is helpful and I think it helps the tease stay in longer. A extra strength hold hairspray, this is Tresemme, Tresemme is a really good, uh, their extra hold hairspray is really good on wigs. And then for the Ahoges, uh, Sarah and I really love this stuff. It's really, it's quite expensive, but it's, oh my god, it's all backwards in this thing. Okay, well, it's, <laughs> it's this vapor gel firm hold micro gel mist. How do you say it? A photo organic, or photo? Phyto. Phyto organics. Um, you don't have to get this, 
you could just use a really, really, really strong hold like your hairspray for this. But this is nice to create points in hair. I think if you were to buy it, it's about, it's about $18 a bottle, but um, it lasts for a really long time. Okay. So, styling. Oh, also you need a flat iron. So the wig I got was already straight. Now, uh, make sure you know your wig's heat safe. Uh, this one goes up to I think around like 260. Hello Cosplay. They're all, I think most of their wigs are heat safe. Now Murdoch's hair, which I feel like um, it's not a blunt bang. It's actually a side swoop bang. It just well, it's well, it's, a, it's like a it's a bang that swoops all to one side. So stressing out just thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, what I do to get that effect because this hair it's a cartoon, so it's kind of crazy and doesn't it's not normal person hair. So what I do to get that effect? Let's make sure you guys can see this one here. No, we'll get close. So here, the bang is all straight right now because I haven't styled in a while. I put it off into sections. Okay, so, well at first I decide which way I want it to sweep. I always go this way. So I'm going to have it coming from this direction over. So, you can do this on your head. I prefer to do it on a wake head because I'm going to keep my arms up here. If you have a wig head, that works, but uh, also on your head's fine. So I put it in section. Oh, okay. Sorry, it's my first video, so I'm not good at the camera angles. So you have a section off. And his, his bangs are really thick, so you're going to want to do a small section and then take that section, cut it in half and clip that up. Alright. Huh. Hairspray. Spray the section that you want. Now you're going to take and brush it out. Now what I do, that's pretty wet. Um, take my flat iron. I Take the hair, I bump it under, and swoop it sideways. You can see it makes, it's kind of a weird shape. But Murdoch's hair is weird. And I will, you want the bangs pretty bumped under. If you can see. Alright, so um, I do that all around. I actually... I do that all the way until, actually I do it to about here, which is right behind the sideburn because his hair poofs up on the sides as well. So I'm going to go through and do that to the wig. I think Sarah's going to make it fast, so it only takes you a minute or so or less to watch it. It's going to take me like 20 minutes, so. <laughs> yep. Does life. Are we the last living souls? Are we the last living souls? Are we the last living souls? Are we the last living souls?
So I went through and I curled it all and swooped it to the side. It, uh, when you do it, don't brush it out as you're going. Just let it, basically, if you know what a barrel curl is, it's kind of, it's kind of like that motion without, because they're short, not clipping them under. Um, don't brush it out until the end because you want the hair to set. And now, now that I've done that, I'm going to brush it out. That was an awful sound. So much more volume. Look at that. Look at Murdoch and his ridiculous amount of volume in the bags. Alright. So now that that part is done, for the spiky on the head, that's kind of optional if you want to do that. Um, I like it. Looks a little more rocker. So you're going to do that on your head because you don't want to do it on the wig head and then you like you put it on and you realize it's in the middle, it looks crazy. So now we're going to put on the wig. Alright, wig cap. Oh yeah, I hate putting on wig caps. Alright, got my wig cap on. Oh my god, Sarah, look. <laughs> okay. I have to feel it. It feels awesome. Oh my god, that is so cool. I just shaved my head today and I did not expect all the hairs to go through the wig cap like that. Okay. That is hilarious. So, you know, got that, now you're gonna, gonna got that. Let's stick the wig on. No, I hope I hope you already know how to put a wig on. But if you don't, you put on the wig cap. And then there's little clips in the back of the wig. And you uh, adjust it to where you feel it's going to be snug on your head. If it gives you a headache, it's too snug. Did that for a whole con. That's horrible. My first con. Uh, watch me struggle. Turn that. Okay. And I put it on. Oh, there it is. At this point, it still looks crazy. Adjust it so it uh, covers your bangs. I mean, your, bang, your bangs. Your bangs cover your eyebrows. So I got it on. Uh, I like to. Now you're gonna pin it. Bobby pins. <laughs> I just stick it in and twist the pin. Stick it in, catch some of the cap, twist. First do before I start um God, it's hard to um I feel like hold on one second I think I need to make the camera higher now. Okay, so I got the wig on my head. I use um I glue the side down down sideburns down before I start to style it because it just you can get the silhouette a little better. Can you do that now? Yeah. I use this glue, it's like a dollar at most uh, beauty shops, more like a wig shop. Um, sometimes they have it at Sally's. It's called Salon Pro Exclusive Hair Bonding Glue. So I stick a little bit on my finger. And then I take it and I pick where I want my sideburn to be. I put it on the hair underneath and then just hold it down. It bonds really fast. It comes off super, super easy. I'll show you how to take it off because some people don't know how to take it off and they rip their hair out. <laughs> Those people go by the name of Sarah. Oh. 
Okay, so see now they're nice and flat, looking like a handsome man. Oh man, I, I got the good poof today. Alright, so. This the, it looks okay, right? The bangs don't look weird? No, they look great. Okay, so here is where I'm going to style it. I use my, um, I'm going to use my Photo Phyto Organics. You can also use just a regular extra hold hairspray. For the bangs, I like to put a little bit on my fingers like this. And I go through and I piece out sections so it swoops a little more and it's a little more... Oh god, I got my eye. Okay, never had that happen before. A little more PC. <laughs> Piece out sections to make it PC. <laughs> and I like to poof. Ooh, this is very much for me today. Okay. Um. I'm just like already over it. <laughs> now that I have pieced out my hair, um, when I do the ahoge things, I like them to be right around this section. He, he has them on about one side. You don't want to spike the whole back. This hair is just kind of messy. It's kind of like he woke up and hasn't washed it in like a couple weeks. Um, so you take a small section. I'm going to say the sections probably that I took is around an inch. And take your teasing comb or whatever comb you're using. You're going to hairspray the section and then back comb it so it sticks up. Now you want it to stick up a lot to begin with because you're going to brush it down. Um, I don't know if a lot of you, yeah, so then you can. I don't know if a lot of you have actually seen that I have the hoagies on my wig. Um, I wear the hat a lot. So sometimes I've, I've, I've done them for younger Murdoch. It was like one con. That was fun. <laughs> um, I'm going to be doing another version of Murdoch soon where I won't have a hat. So the hoagies will be in full bloom. <laughs> Alright, so. And now um, I got them up. I take... Uh, any hairspray that you want to use, I, I like to piece out the ends to make them kind of pointy. Um, I don't like my, my ahogues and stuff like that chunky. I, I like to do a more naturally styled wig, but it's kind of up to you. It's your preference. Alright, so now that's done. Okay, the back. Where you have thinned out the section. These pieces here, they kind of fan out on him. Um, I personally think it's important to do that. I think it uh, makes the silhouette of his hair look more authentic to the art. So spray and play. Okay, I just spray and I just poke them out. You can you can back comb them too a little bit if you want. Just they have a little more staying power that way. Don't back comb too much. Alright, so, uh, actually, uh, there we go. I was going to show you how to take off the wig glue. So once you've glued the sides down, stick your finger right in the top and pull downward. And it comes right off. Don't, don't pull up or it's going to kind of feel like a band-aid. So take it and just pull downward and it comes right off. It'll come off your wig with soap and water. It's meant for fake hair. So it's not going to affect anything. You'll be totally fine. It's fine for your skin. Actually, it is a, it is latex though. So if you're allergic to latex, I do not. I don't think you should use this. I think spirit gum is fine to use. I'm not 100 on that, but uh, I feel like it is. I don't think there's latex in that. So we finished, and that is my Murdoch wig styling tutorial. Here is a full look around of the wig. If there's anything else that you want to know, you can comment or message me. I'm going to be doing a Murdoch makeup tutorial soon within the next few days. I've had a few requests for that. I'm also going to do a Squiskar makeup tutorial coming up. Um, I'm still struggling with this wig a little bit, so once I've gotten that wig down, I will show you guys that. Uh, 
that is all for tonight. Alright, you guys, have a good day, and I hope I helped some young little Murdochs out. Bye!